Gotta go. You gotta see things. See new faces and brand new things. Gotta go places and do things. Maybe to forget it. Since I have tomatoes on my balcony, I wanted to have a human-free watering system for them so that they can live on their own. And because I can make stuff with Arduino, I decided to make one. Some time ago I have made a flotter, a device that informs you when your flower needs water. You can find the link to this video in the right up corner, this will be an advanced version of that system. In this video we will create a simple watering system based on Arduino with 3D printed enclosure so that you can make your garden smarter. To make this project we will need Arduino Pro Mini, USB to URT converter to upload program to Arduino, 12 volt water pump, moisture sensor, some cables, IRFZ44N MOSFET or similar, DC socket, 12 volt power supply or battery, hose and breadboard cables. Here is schematic with all of the connections. Before we will start soldering we have to protect cables that connect moisture sensor with its control board. We can do that with insulation tape. Then we can solder two cables to row and GND pins of Arduino. To insulate it I used shrink cable sleeves. Because I forgot to add one more cable to row pin I had to took off insulation and solder another one. Then I protect it with tape because my shrink cable sleeves are too small for two wires. Let's solder a black cable to center pin of MOSFET, also protect it with sleeve. Then we can use two breadboard cables to connect two other MOSFET pins to Arduino. Now we can solder two cables that we soldered before to pump. Those connect pump with MOSFET and row pin. Protect them with sleeves again, and then we can protect MOSFET and other connections with tape. At the end we can connect moisture sensor board to the Arduino with breadboard cables. Our system is ready, so it's time to 3D print a case for it. While printing I wrote a very simple Arduino program and uploaded it to Arduino. You can find the link to it in the description. Link to this case is also in the description. I put everything inside my 3D printed case, but before that I cover everything with tape just to avoid any shorts. To close the enclosure you just have to screw down 4 screws. Our system is ready, the last thing to consider is how to power it. I wanted to use 12 volt power supply but finally decided to use 12 volt 4 ampere hours gel battery. I also have connector so that I can easily connect it to my system. You can put it in the garden or on your balcony, plug it to power, put moisture sensor into the ground, pump into the water. And every time your flower will be dry it will water it on its own. A human free watering system, that's what I needed. Now I feel fulfilled, but no worries, I have much more cool projects to make, so make sure to subscribe to don't miss them. Thanks for watching, happy making! Oh, and check out these cool birds, cause they are funny. Bye.